all your microphones <laughs> up here. <laughs> okay, so thank you all for joining us today. I chose the Madam Walker Legacy Center as the site for a very special announcement about my political future because the Madam Walker symbolizes the hope that I have for this city and what it can do. The child of former slaves became the first self-made American woman millionaire. The center's website says, the advantageous opportunities afforded to Madam because of her move to Indianapolis helped her business flourish in that she endeavored to provide a self, safe, welcoming environment for marginalized people. Amen. My name is State Representative Robin Shackelford, and today, I am announcing that I am running for mayor of Indianapolis. Yeah. As I weighed my decision to run, fueled by close friends and family, some asked me why I was even considering it. I have a fulfilling, successful tenure of service in the Indiana General Assembly it came down to one phrase that kept running through my head. We can do better. <laughs> Indianapolis is a tale of two cities. One with good roads, where residents don't worry about putting food on the table and feel safe in their homes. And another one with pothole written streets where residents struggle to get enough to eat and worry that at any moment a stray bullet will travel through their wall and strike their child. We need to bridge the gap between the two different versions of Indianapolis and prioritize making Indy a safer place to live, work, play, and raise a family. As mayor, I will focus on halting the crime that's plaguing our communities. We simply cannot have a prosperous 
Indianapolis unless it is uniformly safe. I commit to providing effective solutions and prioritizing the safety of Indianapolis and its residents in all neighborhoods. We do that by addressing the root causes of crime, fighting for common sense gun safety, increasing youth engagement in community policing, improving the relationships between residents and law enforcement. We can do better. Yeah. We have a lot of prosperity in Indianapolis, but we also have a lot of shocking amount of poverty. I'm determined to ensure we have balanced and broad economic growth in all parts of our city. Indianapolis needs a mayor that will both challenge and support businesses, business leaders. A mayor that is willing to assist in training a world-class workforce. A mayor committed to creating better jobs and helping local businesses thrive. A mayor dedicated to helping our minority, women, and veteran-owned businesses build capacity and go from subs to primes. Amen. Yes. Yes. A mayor who will champion Indianapolis as a destination for growing businesses. I will be that mayor. And let's not forget, we will not be able to achieve an adequate economy supported by our workforce if they do not have adequate homes. Housing in our city must improve. As mayor, I will work to increase affordability and equity in housing and develop a plan to encourage development without displacement. Yes. Yes. No one should be afraid of losing their home because their neighborhood is being developed. We can do better. We are tired of driving on battered, pothole-filled streets and we cannot imagine seeing another one of our children hit by a vehicle due to the lack of sidewalks in their neighborhood. I will advocate relentlessly for better roads, sidewalks, and transportation connectivity by closing the billion dollar infrastructure funding gap that currently exists and ensuring that federal transportation funds are distributed throughout the city efficiently and equitably. We can do better. We saw during the last two years how vital healthcare is as the COVID-19 virus raced around the world. Access to healthcare is crucial for keeping our city and its residents healthy, thriving, and safe. Healthcare is not just about the body, but also the mind. We cannot afford to have another person suffering from mental illness slain like Herman Whitfield III. As mayor, I will work to improve access to quality health care, make health care more affordable for seniors and working families, and help address chronic health conditions plaguing our communities like mental illness. I also will work to eradicate the food deserts in our neighborhoods, yeah. Yeah. producing an unhealthy lifestyle, and work to decrease the drug overdoses, crippling the health of our families. We can do better. Yeah. Yeah. The city's young people are our future leaders, doctors, teachers, tradesmen, and more. Just recently, I spoke with a group of young high school leaders. The shooting that took place in Greenwood Park Mall, just south of Indianapolis, shook them to their core. They felt the mall should have been a safe haven. Their plea to me was that we establish safe spaces for our young people to gather, shop, learn, and play here in Indianapolis. Additionally, they emphasized their need to be heard and included in decisions affecting them. They also wanted more earlier professional work opportunities. 
As mayor, I will work to create safe spaces for our children, teens, and families to thrive. Additionally, I will hold listening sessions specifically for our youth to get them engaged in the decisions that affect them and teach them how to reclaim their voices through advocacy. I will work on job opportunities that connects them to their interested professions while they are in school. And I will fight for our public schools so we may advocate for a better tomorrow. Yes. We can do better. Yes. Tomorrow must be equitable for all. We can harness the boldness potential of all the incredible people of our great city to turn challenges into opportunities, just like Madam Walker did. These are not easy problems to tackle, but together we can elevate our city to new heights. We can do better. So please take a moment to review my website at robinforindy.com, and that is for number four. Be sure to like our social media pages and please volunteer and donate. I'd like to take a second to thank my family, friends, colleagues, and campaign team here today. I'm grateful for your unwavering support. Now I'll take questions from the representatives of the media. All signs indicate Mayor Hogsett will announce he's seeking a third term next week. What case will your campaign make that he should get another term in office? So I would say currently we don't know the future that Mayor Hawk said if he's running or not. I don't want to determine and I don't want to say if he should or should not get in the race. But I will say as far as me and my team, I'm here to give a choice to those Democrats and to make sure that people have the opportunity to have that choice and to be heard. Obviously crime is a big issue here in the city. What will you do differently to tackle this issue for every neighborhood? So like I mentioned in my speech, I'm going to address the root causes. We have to look at mental illness. We have to look at making sure that our children and our youth have some place to play and work, making sure that we have common sense gun safety. So those are some of the things that I will be tackling when it comes to crime in the city. Have you had any discussions with the Marion County Democratic Party or do you plan to? So of course I would not do this without talking to the leadership of our party. I've had discussions and coffees and sat down with the mayor and other leadership and let them know that I was going to run. So definitely I made sure that I included them before I went public. There's an obvious subtext here that Indianapolis has never had a black mayor before. Um, I know you don't want to talk about the current mayor, but again, as far as I know, he's running again. Do you feel like <coughs> there's an extent to which you're being told to wait your turn here? And is, is there pushback against this campaign and any other campaign that might pop up right now? So I haven't been told to wait my turn. I know people are told that all the time. We haven't gotten any pushback, but I'm pretty sure pushback will be coming because it's politics. What we will do is move forward in our messaging and move forward in our campaign. Our whole process and thought is going to be a grounds root effort. I've been encouraged by many to run. I've heard people um, say they are frustrated and they feel they haven't been included when it comes to those decisions made in the city. So that's what our campaign will be about. Can you talk a little bit about the idea of Indianapolis getting a black mayor finally? It seems long overdue. So if you ask my campaign team and myself, I will say definitely it's long overdue. It is 2022. It's definitely time that we have a woman, um, yeah. that yeah. she yeah. is black. Yeah. <laughs> because we bring different ideas and different experiences to that uh, office. So I will say it's definitely time. I will say Indianapolis is ready. We are ready to be inclusive and we are ready for everyone to be represented. Was there one thing that made you want to run? Was there one thing that really stuck out to you that you decided to make this decision? I will say the one thing that stuck out is that I thought we can do better. That is the one thing. As I thought about where our city was and where we should be, um, I felt that we were not at our potential. And so in order to get this city where it needs to be, when it comes to safety, when it comes to health care, when it comes to education, 
that is what was going through my mind, that we must get the city, ele city elevated. Mm -hmm. We just went through a, a, an election cycle that focused a lot on crime in Indianapolis because of the prosecutor's race. What are your thoughts on public safety, the, the state of public safety in Indianapolis and ways to possibly do better? So public safety will be at the top of my list. I will definitely be prioritizing how can we reduce crime in our city and how can we make people feel safe? Right now, people don't feel safe downtown. They don't feel safe out in the suburbs. I will be sitting down with the prosecutor and I will be sitting down with public defenders and also with law enforcement to get their feedback on what are some of those ideas. And at the same time, I will also be researching to find those evidence-based policies that have worked in other cities that we can bring in Indianapolis. Okay, well thank you all. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Woo!